one of the beauties of the high single leg is it's just as good when you're behind people, which is the preferred position in a self-defense situation, as it is from in front of people. Um, on occasions, I would have to fight uh, people who were literally so big through the waist that I couldn't get a body lock. I physically couldn't do it. Um, other times, I would fight people so tall that lifting options just went right out the window. Uh, so I put a very high value on the single leg from the back position. If my opponent is so big through the waist, I don't try to lock my hands, I just hold the hips. Okay? So I just hold right here. Now, I take a step towards the opposite foot. Don't do this from directly behind your opponent. Step so that your chin goes to their hip here. If your chin is not on the hip, you'll never be able to reach the other leg. So I get my hands on and I go here. Now I step my right foot, it's basically, I step my right foot to his foot. It makes this leg light. Okay, if he, if he leans into me, it's hard to pick up this leg. But if I step to this leg, this one becomes light. Now I bring my hand down and I hold above the knee and I put my second hand here at the ankle and I walk in this direction. So the leg just comes right up. There's no need to capture it. It's faster from the back than it is from the front. Now, like always, we make our negotiations. You want to fight, etc., etc. Most people get pretty antsy in this situation. They're not used to it. And if things get physical, put his hands on the floor. Okay. We'll be looking later that there's so many things you can do from this position to go outside of grappling that gives you many, many effective attacking options. Okay. Um, so the idea is. When he's in here and he's so big through the waist that our normal attacks just aren't going to work. Then from here, I would hold the waist like so. Always from here, I'm always constantly off balancing people so they're never comfortable. Now I step and my chin goes to the hip. Even as I step, I'm circling the leg and we come up into the high leg position. Then from here, we make up our mind. What do we want to do? Do we want to run him out the door? Do I want to put him down? Do I want to put his hands on the mat? Your choice, you're in control. 